Next, a film that's been billed as a heartwarming documentary telling the story of a Kazakh girl who hunts on horseback with her golden eagle. But some critics have accused the film of being nothing more than a crudely staged homily on female empowerment, suggesting some scenes are not authentic. It seems that the girl power narrative in The Eagle Huntress is more complicated than its director might have us believe. Haxi Myers-Belkin reports. She's 13 years old. She's strong. She's brave. And she's a total natural. The Eagle Huntress is a documentary that tells the story of a young Kazakh nomad girl. With her father's encouragement, Aishal Pan defies social norms to become an eagle hunting master, working alongside her very own golden eagle to catch foxes and wolves during the Mongolian winter. It's a practice reserved, we're told, for men. I knew that traditional eagle hunting was for men. I didn't know any female eagle hunters, but I thought that could change. Older men from her community disapprove, but that doesn't stop Aishal Pan training for a prestigious eagle hunting competition. She was really turning tradition on its head. She was the first girl to take part in that competition, the first girl in centuries of the practice. But a number of critics have questioned the film's claims to authenticity, with many convinced that certain scenes were staged. Also under fire, the film's insistence on the groundbreaking feminism of Aishal Pan's achievement. One American historian has said the film simply ignores the existence of other Kazakh eagle huntresses and willfully exaggerates the patriarchal pressures placed on our heroine. One Australian paper goes so far as to accuse the film of being a fantasy for Western eyes, constructed from Western prejudice about primitive peoples. Director Otto Bell denies it all, insisting that everything we see in his film is authentic. So is the eagle huntress an uplifting tale of female empowerment or a misleading and orientalist fiction? The truth may lie somewhere in between.